Right, a um, bit of a quick, this is, this is an interim update because I've got some questions to ask uh, and I've got a confession to make. Well, not confession, but an admission of failure. Um, now, I'd, um, I've got some 20mm. 20mm. And I, the reason I got them was because I thought, well, um, I want to paint a bit more detail on the thing, but unfortunately, uh, they don't give me the level of detail detail that I was after so um, I just think I'll finish these ones that I've got you know and then get rid of them um, or if anybody knows anybody that does 20 millimeter and wants some then just let me know right anyway um, where was I oh yes right I was getting all despondent about it and um, what I did was um, thought well 20 millimeter Obviously, he's not going to have the detail that I want, so um, I went out to uh, a model shop in Ashton, which is in Manchester, well, Greater Manchester, it's, it's near Oldham and all that, it's up that way, and um, bought myself a box of these, these are Perry 28mm line infantry, complex little buggers aren't they, um, very nice though. Anyway, so I've started painting one up and I've got some questions to ask the Napoleonics crowd um, about British line infantry um, and stuff. So what I'll do is I'm in the middle of just te for doing a test paint of basically when I get when I try something new what I do is I get a model and I absolutely murder it or a couple of models and I murder them you know trying to work out paints and um, how to paint it um, especially something like this Perry because um, I'll explain as you see but one of the problems I have is I'm like really quite badly colour blind so um, I can't really look at pictures and things so I can't see the colours so I have to sort of get get Mrs Simpkins down to sort of tell me is that the right colour and this that and the other so um, and, I, and I have to work out a for, an exact formula for the painting because otherwise you know you end up uh, yeah. You know, the gay Gordons really will be gay because they'll be pink. Do you know what I mean? No offence, that was just a joke. Um, so anyway. Right, I'll swing the camera around and we'll have a look at this chap. And I'll ask me questions. Right, catch him in a minute. Okay, so he's the um, the test figure that I'm doing first. And I've got another three lined up. I'll come on to them in a second. Um, right then, I need something to point with. Here we go. Right then, my questions are as follows. Right, here, there's like a, I think this is a turn back, that's what it's called. Is it all white, or is it like a thick white edge with a red bit in the middle, or is it all white? Yeah, next, that's the first, that's that. Um, this water canteen, now that's the only blue I really have now. I assume that that'll be okay. Bear in mind, this has got to be dulled down when I wash it and everything. Um, a red. Does it have the unit, the regiment number in there? Uh, this would be. It would have a five in there because I'm trying to do the um, the Northumberland regiment first. Um, I'm experimenting with this, but I found a colour. Played a colour called um, well, it's basically Gosling green. So. Um, uh, it's not called that, but it, it it's a good analogue for it. Right, so the regimental number is in there. And I've seen it, they've got a number on the back here. Is that right? Do they have a, would they have a five there? Um, I possibly won't do those sort of details on all of them, but you never know. The next thing, these things, this is a grenadier. You see his white plume. Um, now, he, did, he was actually half a grenadier and half a centre company because um, the Perry kit it didn't really... Make it very clear. So he had a he had a centre company right arm and a grenadier left arm. Um, but anyway, we'll come to that in a minute. Cause I had to cut the arms off because um, I couldn't get all his gubbins in the middle. So um, these baskety things for grenadiers, I, I think they're white, aren't they? With these like white lines. I mean, I'll tidy all that up in a bit. But this is just for the um, discussion. So they'll be. I assume it's like white edging around there and these white lights even though it actually says they have red ones um, 
I assume the red means that it's the red in the middle. Um, next question, collars. Now, the facing on the collar, does it sort of stop halfway and it's red at the back or does it go the facing collar all the way around the collar? Um, I'm not au fait on that, so because the pictures that I see, basically they always show you the guy from the front and then from the back they've always got his backpack on so you can't see in the pictures. So just, the question is, does the collar go all the way around the collar? Next question, these cuff things, the raised bits, are they white? Or is it all the sort of like greeny, yellowy colour? Or whatever. Mm. Other question, cartridge cases. I assume that's what these are dangling off here. What colour would cartridge cases be? Would they be sort of like a... Um, they'd be white. Or would they sort of be an off-white? What? I don't know. I don't like this sort of detail. It doesn't mean anything. It makes the miniature look nice, but it just confuses me. Um, anything else? Oh yes, down here, shoes. He's got black shoes. Now he's got these like putty things. Or are they the bottom of his trousers? Anybody know? Uh, if the bottom of his trousers, that's fine. They're grey still. But if the putties or whatever, you know, would they be uh, a different colour? And if so, what colour would they be likely to be? Would it be like a, a buff or a tan or something? Brown? I don't know. There you go. Right, so. Uh, I think that's all. That's about it for my questions. Yeah, anyway, just got to finish off a few bits and pieces, tidy up stuff, gun barrel, uh, bayonet, uh, whatnot. But for the first test piece of that, that's fine. What I've done though with these peri the peri kit, because it's so complicated and it's really hard, not complicated, but because of the detail on it, you want to get some detail, don't you? I'm doing the rest, though. I'm doing the rest now just as um, torsos with a head. I'm talking about from a base colour point of view, getting all the base colours on him. Um, but bear in mind with this one, you see, I had to cut cut his arms off. Uh, I was going to cut his backpack off, but I thought, no, I can't be bothered. So I cut, the, I cut his arms off and everything, which sort of messed him all up. But, you know, it's only a test figure. Um, so, yeah, what I decided to do is cut the... Um, is, is not glue his arms on until this bit's painted. Base colour to base colour, do you know what I mean? Um, same with his arms, the base colour, like him, he, he, that red needs brightening up. Um, and the backpack as well, paint, you know, do that, then stick all that on. It just means that you've got access to all these bits underneath, so when, the, when you put their arms on, it covers it up. Oh, backpacks, yes, I don't like the backpacks. Uh, how they're actually in the, on the sprue, this cartridge case is stuck to the backpack. When you put the backpack on, there's like a massive gap. So I cut the bottom of the, I cut the cartridge case off the backpack and stuck that on separately so there's no, so because if you imagine, it was actually out here. It's sort of like you could, you could stick your paintbrush straight through underneath. So, oh yes, is there a white edge in here on his tails? Um, there. It's like a bit that goes in there, would that be white? I don't know. Anyway, there you go. Right, so that's uh, that's that then. Thanks for watching. Uh, all answers to all of my myriad of questions are most welcome. You might have to pause it because I ask them so fast. But anyway, right, I'll do an update on him next week and the rest of the guys and the other ones because I'll probably have them done by then. They don't take very long to be honest. Um, it's just a case of uh, working out my method to paint them. And um, once I've done that, I can start being a bit neater. So um, there you go. All right, cheers. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>